bottom squirrel for uh, the Lost Souls crew with SP076, Captain Chris and Cy Mitchell. I'm an illustrator essentially, it's where it comes from and just building it up to something bigger. I love it, you know, it's, uh, it's the best way to sort of get it out. I'm essentially addicted to drawing so I draw all the time. It seems like the logical next step to get it onto walls and get it out and about in front of people. Yeah, I literally start drawing and it turns into something, you know, it's not really much thought process behind it. It kind of just comes out of nowhere, you know, and turns it, evolves into something and yeah, there's no, it's no concept. So we, we talk to each other and have a little plan, kind of not massively so. We don't know where the pieces are going to go, how they're going to overlap and all that sort of stuff. Sort of think about the colours, which is going to go nicely, limit the palette a little bit so it's a bit not too full on. So this one's going to be like a sort of 90s techno rave with weird little animals in the woods. So that's the theme. You know, sometimes this one was me, I have no idea. Well, essentially, we went out to Berlin like a few months ago and there was uh, like a big long techno rave uh, and I somehow gained the name Techno Bear from that. People started calling me Techno Bear and they're that kind of led into this, it makes, makes sense, you know. My, uh, my tag is SP076, which is a stupidly long tag, like a part of the Lost Souls crew, like um, we've been painting together now for two and a half years, the, the four of us. Um, like our first paint, we did like a bit of an open call out for a few artists, see if anyone fancied. It was the four of us that turned up um, and then from them, the piece we painted was called Collection of Lost Souls. Uh, it was a bunch of uh, weird creatures and people on yaks, riding yaks, so it was a collection of lost souls. And then we, as we continued, we just became lost souls, so it was like, yeah, so it just worked out easy. The event is Upfest. It's, uh, yeah, it's the uh, Europe's largest paint jam. Like, um, uh, this is, I think this is my third, third year of painting it. But yeah, it's amazing. We're on the train today, like uh, the subway car. When I first moved to Bristol in '96, I was doing. I went to uni. There was loads of um, like people I knew were uh, doing paint, you know, spraying and stuff. And I was inspired by a lot of spray art. And my dissertation was on it, so I did some interviews with some of the guys and stuff. And I used to exhibit art in some of the exhibitions they did. But I was always too scared to pick up a spray can. It was like I think it was about four or five years ago. I actually picked up a spray can for the first time. And, since then, it's just like, you know, it's addictive. But yeah, you just want to paint as many walls as you can, as big as you can, and just keep going.